Okay, you already know the drill. We're just going to write the a term, which is 2. That's coefficient of the x squared. The b is 5, coefficient of the x term. And then the c is 3, and that's just the constant. And we make the magic x. We're going to put a, c up here. The product of a and c is 2 and 3. 2 times 3 is 6. The b term is 5. So now what we have to do is figure out what multiplies to give me 6. The product will be 6. The sum will be 5. And I think that's a 2 and 3 combo because 2 times 3 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. Cool. So we have what we want. And we're going to rewrite this middle term as now two terms. The two terms you got in that magic x. So the 2x squared is left alone. The plus 3 is left alone. And then the middle term is now going to be rewritten as 2x plus 3x. Now the cool part is we're almost done. Because all we have to do is group the first two terms, factor them out. It looks like we have a common factor of the number 2 and then the variable x. So that leaves us with, okay, 2x times what is 2x squared? x. 2x times what is 2x? Oh, that'll be a 1. And we're just going to put a plus 1 there. Now, just to be safe, we're going to copy that parenthetical expression here, this x plus 1, x plus 1. So x times what is 3x? You got it, plus 3. Now, in this last step, what we're going to do is just rewrite this, the coefficients of the parenthetical expressions. The 2x plus 3 are going to be grouped together. And then the x plus 1. And we're done that one. Awesome. Now we continue. We've got this one. Okay. In this case, a is 3, b is 7, and c is 2. So we do this. The a times the c. That's going to be 3 times 2 is 6. And then just the b term here is going to be 7. So what multiplies to give me 6 adds to give me 7? I'm thinking it's a 6, 1 combo. So again, and I'll just rewrite the whole thing here, the 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. This is going to be split, this middle term, into the two terms we now have, the 6 and the 1. So 6x plus 1x. And then the 3x squared is going to drop down, as well as the 2. That will drop down as well. And then all we have to do now is group the first two terms. So 3x squared plus 6x. So basically, you want to think of a number first, if you can, and then that, that'll be 3, because 3 is common to both 3 and 6, and then also a variable if you can. So in this case, x is the common variable. And then, so you ask yourself, 3x times what is 3x squared? I'm going to go with x. And then 3x times what is 6x? That'll be a 2. And then just to be safe, we're going to recopy what's in the parentheses, the x plus 2. And then what times x is 1x? Oh, 1. Okay, fantastic. Now all we have to do is group it together at the end. 3x plus 1, and then we copy what's inside the parentheses, x plus 2. And we factor that trinomial. We just have 2 left. Okay, in this case, um, the a is 4, the b is 8, and the c is 3. You guys already know the drill, so I'm just going to do a times c up top, which is 12. And then the B term on the bottom, which is 8. What multiplies to give me 12, adds to give me 8. I'm going to go with a 6-2 combo. So I'm just going to write it down here, actually. 4x squared plus 6x plus 2x plus 3. And if you're wondering where I'm getting these expressions from, the 6 and the 2, that goes right there. Okay, I just like to annotate some things because some people are new to this and I just want to you know, I don't want to just say, hey, here we are finished. It's like, no, show me the steps. So now 4x squared plus 6x. What's common to that is a 2 and an x. Because, and then the question is, 2x times what is 4x squared? I'm going to go with 2x. And then 2x times what is 6x? 3. And then to be safe, we know we're going to copy this down, the 2x plus 3. Cool thing is we've got a match here, the 2x plus 3, 2x plus 3. In that case, we just put plus 1. Now it's going to be a little funky. I'm going to go back up top, and that's going to be 2x plus 1 times what's in parentheses repeated, 2x plus 3, and voila, we're done with that one. Okay, last one of this set. We have 5x squared plus 7x plus 2. The AC is 10, because you know you guys know 5 times 2 is 10, and then the B term is 7. And I'm thinking that it's actually a 5-2 combo. So we're going to, I'll rewrite this one, the 5x squared plus 7x plus 2. And you guys can generously fast forward uh, if you already know 
a lot of things we're going to do. But uh, we're going to rewrite that middle term, 7x, as 5x plus 2x. We're going to keep that 5x squared. That's a little spectator term there, as well as that later 2. So then we're going to group these together. And that's convenient, because we have a 5 common to both of those, as well as an x. So that'll be x plus 1. And then we're going to copy this, just to be safe. And then x times what gives me 2x? Well, plus 2. OK, fantastic. We're just going to now group these together, the 5x plus 2. And we're going to just recopy that x plus 1. And we're done factoring that trinomial. I'll do, you guys will see a few more difficult ones coming up in the next few videos, as well as I'm going to do one in super slow motion and annotate everything. So if you want to see that, click on those videos. Until then, take care, be happy, and good luck in all your mathematical endeavors.